Tonight, a 26-year-old who once had a full scholarship to USC and dreams of the NFL is fighting to clear his name. His football dreams all ended inside a small jail cell, convicted of raping a classmate when he was just 16. Tonight, CBS 2's Randy Page reveals disturbing new evidence, which has some legal experts wondering if the rape ever happened at all. For Brian Banks, this beach offers more than a wave of childhood memories. Uh, I live not too far from here. It is also a brief diversion from his life as a registered sex offender. I'm still aware of, of how far I still have to go, you know, towards getting my life back. He's talking about the life he had at 16. Long Beach Poly says they have it! A star middle linebacker at Long Beach Polytechnic High School with a full ride scholarship waiting for him at USC. I felt like I was on top of the world. Then came the fall. It's almost hard to, to put in words of how one day could turn so fast. In a recent court filing, Banks says it was just before lunchtime. The sophomore football star and a girl he knew decided to duck into an empty stairwell where they could have some privacy. We began making out. Um, we didn't have sex. He says a few minutes later, after some heavy petting, the two went back to class. Later that day, he noticed a lot of police, and then he says he saw the girl come out of the office with police officers. It's probably the most surprised I've ever been, um, that feeling of your heart jumping out of your body. Brian Banks had never been in trouble with the law before, but on this July day in 2001, he was under arrest for rape. The word rape wasn't even in my vocabulary at 16. The DA offered him a deal plead guilty to rape and spend another 18 months in prison or go to trial and face 41 years to life. He says his defense attorney put it this way. When you go into that courtroom, the jury is going to see a big black teenager and you're automatically going to be assumed guilty. Those are her exact words. The terrified teen wanted to speak to his mother. He was told, no time. You've got 10 minutes to decide. I sat there and I cried. And I asked questions, and I asked why, and I cried, and um, 18 months sounded way better than 41 years to life. Brian Banks pleaded no contest to rape. A judge sentenced him to six years in state prison. Where was the physical evidence here that would prove that he was guilty? Brian's new attorney, California Innocence Project Director Justin Brooks, says hospital records show the alleged victim told authorities Brian left his DNA evidence inside her. Yet, according to lab results, not a single molecule of his DNA was recovered from the victim or her clothing. So Brian's story is the only one that makes sense. As it turns out, Brian Banks isn't the only one saying he is innocent. Did uh, he force you to have intercourse or anything like that? No. His alleged victim was caught on tape saying he's innocent too. Did he rape you? No. Last year, nine years after his conviction, Brian says he received a friend request on Facebook from the girl who accused him of the violent rape. I remember closing the laptop just like real quick and just like, like thinking like, what did I just see? Brian Banks says he asked his accuser to meet him at a private investigator's office to tell her version of what happened that day. And to his astonishment, she showed up. Did uh, he force you to have intercourse or anything like that? No. She said at 15 and 16 years old, the two were young, inexperienced, and curious. So it was just like a petty thing. You guys were kissing and making out pretty heavily. Yeah. Throughout the interview, she says the rape never happened. Did he rape you? No, he did not. Did he kidnap you? No. If she is telling the truth here, she could stand to lose, by her own words, a lot of money. She's talking about the $1.5 million she says the Long Beach Unified School District paid after her mother sued the district for lack of security at the time of the alleged rape. I mean, I will go through with helping you, but. It's like, at the same time, all that money they gave us, I mean, gave me, right. I don't want to have to pay it back all that, because that right. will take a long time. We were unable to locate the whereabouts of Brian Banks' accuser. Randy Page with CBS 2 News. Anybody home? But we did track her down by telephone, and she told us she was raped and that she lied in this interview because, she claims, Brian Banks offered her a $10,000 bribe. Banks says this latest accusation doesn't make sense, that he has a dollar and some change left to his name. The video is disgusting. It, it's, it's, it gives you goosebumps to see someone who 
took, took someone's life over a lie. The district attorney's office is declining an on-camera interview, saying its policy is to not make any comments on cases that are under review. But a former deputy district attorney is willing to offer his assessment of the case against Brian Banks. I wouldn't have filed the charge. I would have rejected it. Steve Meister is a former LA County sex crimes prosecutor who worked in the same office that prosecuted Brian Banks. To me, it goes back to the DNA evidence and her inconsistent statements about what happened. DA never should have filed this case and they should drop it now. For Brian Banks, life as a sex offender is like living in a cell made of glass. You can see the world outside, but it's always just out of reach. The idea that people see me as something that I'm not, you know, uh, I just want this to be over, you know? When you were 16, you knew what your dreams were. You had a free ride at USC. You had a possible pro career ahead of you. What are your dreams today? To be free. In Long Beach, Randy Page, CBS2 News. As a result of the new information, the California Innocence Project has filed a petition to try and exonerate Brian, and they're due in court next month. As for the Long Beach Unified School District, where this all happened, no one, not even the superintendent, would go on camera to talk about the case.